Jonah! Jonah! Will! Ned! Yes, Doctor? Come here. I won't have Jonah wandering into the garden. He's your responsibility. If he eats this, it could kill him. What is it? It's you, Leaf, and very poisonous. Now put him in the paddock with beauty. Well, I thought animals knew about poisons. You know, instinct. Oh, well, they're a bit like people, Ned. Some are sillier than others. Off you go. Go on. And stay there. Doctor, Come Mary, my poor Mary, I... Oh. This way, please, Mr. Stanley. Doctor, Mary's worse. I came as fast as I could. She's fighting for breath. What is it, Aunt Amy? What's wrong? Oh, it's no concern of yours, Mary. He was really going. Took the gate of the gallop. His horse is all foamy. Whose horse? Oh, poor Mr. Danbit. He's galloped over from Catterton. His wife is very, very ill. John, I'll follow. Jenny! Jenny! Oh, is Black Beauty saddled? Yes, Father. Bring him to the front gate. I need him right away. Where's Beauty going? Ned! I meant to shut it. You meant to? Where are you going? We've got to find them. man Gordon's to blame for this. No sense of responsibility. His children run wild and so do his animals. Come on, Carter. Stand. You take that one and lock him up. I'll deal with this. Yeah. Come on. Come here, you brute. Come here, get down. Come on, get down, you blasted animal. Get down. Beauty. Jonah. Beauty. Oh, no. 
Luna. Beauty. They've gone in. Yes, come on. Beauty, come here. <laughs> Where's Jonah, Beauty? Where's Jonah? No, Beauty, Father needs you. Home, come on. What about Jonah? He's your responsibility. Come on, boy. Go straight home and stay in your room. But, Father! I asked you to fetch Beauty. You knew it was urgent. You've been gone for nearly an hour. Mrs. Dandy is dangerously ill. It's unforgivable. Come on, boy. Jonah, it's me. You're burning up. You were right, Carter. A two-legged trespasser this time. He's ill. He's got fever. Look at him. The boy's right, Squire. Then get him out of here before any of my animals are infected. He can't stand Mr. Armstrong. Well, it's not a disease. He's been eating new leaves. By heaven, I hope you never have another animal to look after. You'll have to shoot him. No, you can't. He's in pain, boy. It'll be a kindness. Isn't there any way to save him? I don't think even a doctor could do anything for him now. How far's Catterton from here? About three miles, why? Dr. Gordon's there. He could save Jonah. I know he can. Please, sir, give him a chance. How long do you think he's got? Hard to say. Not more than a few hours, I shouldn't think. Very well. I'll give you until five o'clock. But if Gordon doesn't come, he'll just have to be shot. She's a bit easier, that's all I can say for the moment. What about hospital? Oh, no, no. No, she can't be moved. Um, anyway, she's asking to see you. Uh, John, just two minutes and keep very, very calm. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, beauty. If we were in time, it's thanks to you. I wonder why Jenny took you away like that. Dr. Gordon! Dr. Gordon! Dr. Gordon! Dr. Gordon! Dr. Gordon. Ned, what on earth's the matter? Jonah, it's Jonah! Well, what's happened? He's at Eddington Hall. He's poisoned. He ate some you. They say they can't do anything for him and it's all my fault. If only I'd shut that gate. Now, wait a minute. When was this? Didn't Jenny tell you? No. Beauty followed Jonah, you see. <sighs> yes, I see. There isn't much time. You'll come, won't you? Ned, I can't come. If you don't, Jonah will die. I know, but my responsibility is with Mrs. Denby. If I leave her now, she might die.
Dr. Gordon? He's coming. I'm sorry, Ned. I'm very sorry. Dr. Gordon! What sort of medicine would you need to save Jonah? No, I can't, Ned. Could Jenny get it ready? Please tell me. I'd get back to Five Oaks. Jenny could bring the medicine, couldn't she? No, you'd be too late. I'm sorry. anything to get hold of. Beauty, you're going to have to teach me, and we haven't got much time. Come on, then. Don't you understand? We're lost. We're lost. No, 
Beauty, no. That's not the way. We've got to get back on the road. <laughs> stop. Hey, stop, Beauty. Stop. <laughs> Jonah hasn't a chance. Five Oaks. That's Five Oaks Church. That rotten old bell keeps you awake half the night. We're nearly home. We can still do it. You knew, didn't you? A shortcut, eh? A shortcut. You're crazy. We drown. All right. Come on. Ready, Beauty? <laughs> about four to five hours after eating the plant. Yes, but what do we give him? I'm coming to that. For treatment, we might give two ounces of oil of turpentine in one pint of linseed oil. Might give? Doesn't the fella know? To be repeated twice. Oil of turpentine. To relieve pain, five grains of morphine hydrochloric. And that's all on your poisoning. The linseed oil's in the kitchen. Morphine. Morphine. Ah, morphine. Five grains. Are you sure you know how to do it? No, I'm not sure. But I've watched Father do it lots of times. Now then. The knapsack, Ned. I'm coming too. No, there's no need. Well, he's my responsibility, isn't he? Oh, come on then. You up? Yeah. Well, there's nothing anyone can do for him now. You told the boy five o'clock, sir. You're a sentimental fool, Carter. No! Ned, the sack. Is Dr. Gordon with you? Dr. Gordon is attending another patient. I've come in his place. You? Yes, I know exactly what to do. this time. Beauty saved his life. You did it together, Ned. Your patient seems to have recovered completely. And with Mrs. Denby on the mend, it looks as though we have two doctors in the family. I hope so. One day... No more you leaves, Jonah! Think he's learned his lesson? Yes, I think so. Some people take longer to learn than others. 